Hi guys, hello from editing land. I just wanted to let you know really quick before I start the video that my new single Circles is out now. Well, not out now from when I'm recording, but I think when it's up, it will be. So I'm gonna put in like a really quick snippet for you guys to hear, and I will put the link in the description to listen wherever you listen. All right, I'll see you later. What's up everybody? My name is Katherine Rose Smith and I am a singer, songwriter, professional musician, and vocal coach. If you're a vocalist, I'd love to hear your voice and work with you. Uh, the link for my website is in the description, so go check it out if you're interested in hearing my opinion on your voice and seeing what we can create with you. Okay, so the reaction today was very, very highly requested. I've heard so many comments from you guys asking for me to react to this person. And the person is Dimash. I act like that's a surprise, but you've already seen the description. But I, I'm not going to try to say his last name. And it seems like most of you guys just call him Dimash anyways. So I'm just going to stick with that so that I don't butcher it and sound really silly. So before we get into it, I'm going to remind you to subscribe, hit that little bell so we can stay in touch and you can see who is the next person I'm subscribing to, what are they singing, how are they singing, and how can we learn from it and have a good time while we watch it. All right, so without further ado, here is Dimash singing SOS. Once again, I have no idea what the context of this is. It looks like another singing show. So once again, I'm going to ask you guys to... Let me know what show is this is and what's going on. Um, I have heard like barely a snippet of this when I was just getting it queued up. So this is going to be a very uh, intuitive and fresh reaction for you guys. So let's go. He sounds like an angel. low end okay first of all he sounds it's perfection so far that's all I really have to say is it's just perfection I haven't heard a single bad um, note tone anything it's just perfection so far and that low note and the fact that he just went from this register to this register in like zero time I'm very impressed you guys with your recommendations as always <laughs> What just happened? Okay, we went from like stunningly beautiful perfect to like that was an alien sound that just came out of his mouth. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna keep watching. And then back down there like it's nothing. Okay. That's fine. It's just like an extreme jump. He just has such control over the vocal folds. What that means is pretty much the vocal folds are these tiny, tiny muscles that you have to work out like any muscle you would, except it takes such finesse and such delicacy. And when someone can jump from an extremely high register like that to a very low register, it just means that those vocal folds are very, very well trained. And like an elite athlete could do some insane maneuver. He just did an insane vocal maneuver. So... That's what's going on vocally, and aside from the science of it, there's just an artistry that is stunning because he's just so calm and emotional and evocative. Like, there's nothing that I feel is being pushed or stressed. It's just all coming out of him very naturally. He has a very natural artistry that's very impressive to me. I'm 
You guys sending me an alien? You guys are sending me an alien person to. Re I can't. This, I can't react to this. This is an alien sent from another planet. Like. You guys, I'm so shook. I don't know why you do this to me. It, like, it's too much for my little heart to handle. Lord. Woo! Okay. <laughs> Trying not to cry, and let's go. Same. performance, yes. What am I supposed to do with this information? How am I supposed to react to that? That's insane. It's just, like I said, the vocal folds are such tiny muscles and it takes such finesse to master them. They're so, so, so tiny. Think about a surgeon, like the most minuscule movement can create such a difference. That's what happens when you're singing. And most of the time there's just errors because it's part of singing organically and it's fine because it's such a, such an abstract instrument. But here, this is the instrument being used to perfection and these are vocal folds that just are insane. It's it's superhuman. That's all I can call it is superhuman. And you guys knew that I was going to be so shook and you sent it to me. I'm just, I can't believe you guys. Okay, let's continue. I'm going to try to keep it together, but no promises. <laughs> the airiness of that like I don't know if other people that would be their favorite section but you guys know how I just love something that's so understated and breathy and very like ethereal like that little note that kind of trailed off into the ether into nowhere was stunningly beautiful that gives me chills so thank you guys for introducing me to this person he is like who was born to sing like Michael, Michael Phelps born to swim Marie Kondo, born to organize. This guy is just someone who was born to sing. I'm freaking out. Okay, Whew. let's finish this out. surprised like I'm not surprised after hearing what his voice can do naturally he can reach those notes because all that is is a really really tight closure of the vocal folds the higher you are the tighter they are so naturally he can do that because he has such control over the tiny tiny muscles so like of course he can hit those notes of course and I'm sure he can go extremely low as well it's only a matter of time all right Close your face. Oh, the artistry. Guys, this is a masterclass in dynamics. Having dynamics will take a performance to, from whatever to I'm genuinely so riveted by this. Did you hear the way he went from that gorgeously breathy, tiny, very tense moment to this and he's opening up. You can see it on his body. The physicality is there. The tone is opening up. The volume is coming up. It just makes for such a compelling performance. And that's why I'm so riveted right now. That's why you guys have been so riveted by him because the dynamics are everything. And that's just in the artistry. Like this guy has a technically perfect voice, but that artistry is there that makes it just compelling and meaningful and honestly this is insane because of the technicality and the artistry I'm very shook <laughs>
I know I've said that like five times, but that's how I feel. So I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. Okay. blabbering on about the vocal fold control, but the reason that he can go from all those registers so seamlessly and so easily is because all the power is being generated from his abdominal wall and his diaphragm, and then it's all happening up here. I don't see an inch of discomfort or strain on his neck or shoulders, right? The neck and shoulders always want to join the singing party and be involved, but when they get involved, they just damage the process. And for him, he has such control over the vocal folds. They're so strong, they're just so, well, it's just a well-oiled machine that jumping between all those registers is nothing for him And that's why we just heard like I don't know maybe three octaves all happen in the last 15 seconds so effortlessly because The vocal folds are the magical part of the voice that can create that control So when you're singing you're training those tiny muscles and that's what makes you so Proficient is when you put the time in and he's obviously put so much time in obviously very naturally gifted, but this kind of control comes with hours and hours of practice. So it's just, it's honestly a triumph. I'm so amazed. Okay. <laughs> Mouth is open, mouth is open. I'm just saying, that's what makes that tone so gorgeous. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Oh my god. And you have the bottle at the end. Whoa. I just I just really think that you guys are trying to give me a heart attack by sending me all these people that are so superhumanly, stunningly beautiful. Like I think my heart rate is through the roof. Like I'm, every kind of hormone is coursing through my body after hearing that. That was absolutely insane. It was a master course in not only control and skill, but a master course in artistry and subtlety. Like that was a stunning vocal performance and not once did he push, not once did he do too much, not once did he like try to show anything off. It just came from such a state of flow and never pushing and just letting it shine and breathe. So I just think that performance had this like airy quality that was so genuine and so like thoughtful and thought provoking. So I'm just very impressed. I know I'm a broken record, but the technicality was there, the artistry was there, and it just combined for me being the most shook. So Thank you guys and curse you guys for sending this to me because now like I might not be able to sleep tonight. I don't know. I'm freaking out. I'm going to watch five more videos of this guy right now. So now I know what I'm getting myself into when I ask you guys to send recommendations, but keep doing it anyways. Uh, send them to me on Instagram. I love talking to you guys in my DMs and we can discuss more what we thought. So my Instagram is in the description, as well as my vocal coaching website. If you wanna talk more about how you can get more control over your vocal folds, that's the place to go. All right, guys, this was a blast. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.